inventor, we can say that even that they, they was the use the word. C X P O N E N exponentially so the now so it's gonna exponentially now so he was the exponent main exponent because Virginia Woolf also contributed equal in the field of stream of consciousness. Then number of other writers, Dostoevsky, many other writers try to write down in the but that's why he was the main exponent of psychological novel based on the representative of stream of consciousness technique. He was the main exponent of this or you can psychological novel based on a because stream it the Antar Manma Chalta Pravavano and his Ulysses is the finest example of subjective method in fiction. And it is called the you can see called the subjective method. But right, yeah, remember the stream of consciousness was subjective method, the finest example of psychological novel, stream of consciousness no, technique, and subjective method in fiction. Ulysses is considered the best work in the psychology fiction of 20th century and stream of consciousness theory finds its best exposition in this novel and we are it was exposition in Rajwad stream of consciousness theory was effectively applied or utilized in this novel Ulysses it is the model on the Oedipus of humor Oedipus of Homer, a great Latin or Greek blind poet, Homer, Homer Virgil, Homer, and that's what the these are the great writer Homer, and that was the Homer's wrote down the a wonderful epic, and that was the Odysseus, and on the base of the, this Odysseus. Oedipus the complex, we can say that, and that Odyssey he can write down that Ulysses is the one of the famous character in, or just Jedi, we can say that Arjun, Khan, these are the famous, or Bhim, these are character of Mahabharata. Here in the same way, Odyssey is by Homer's, Ulysses is one of the, we can say that major character in this epic, and on that. On that base of that, but it is the satin square of Dublin slum. Once again, we can say that Dublin slum. The background here was that was epic, but here Ulysses is set a slum area of Dublin. Joyce's and that's why the here we can say that the novels. Is that the wandering of Lep Lipolet Bloom and Stephen Douglas to the city of Dublin on one particular day? The setting of the day was Dublin slum area and the two creators, Stephen the Lepot Bloom and Stephen Douglas, uh, the life of the a single particular single day. Noel began with the early morning of the 4th December, I think, the 1910, uh, and that the novel ended at the night. And that in the whole the novel, there was a single life of that. But character, outward action is less, but the inward action is was more narrated in these novels. And even that the novel is said about, it was the finest novel, but said the novel is extremely formless. There is no particular form because it was the first time write down in the innovative technique or he was an exponent of their techniques. Loose and incoherent outdoing the work of small and ten stars. Those are the four will of the death was Lawrence Turns and Tobias Smollett. We cannot find out that in, in this way that this that kind of that novel the plot is very loose. 
इनकोरेंस बिन सुसंगत ने एक बीजा से जोड़ान थे लो होए नहीं and this kind of plot but even that it was the most memorable novel of Indian history of novel and the next work is Fenigan's Wake here dear friend the Fenigan John the Fenigan Wake is called about it in a few words it was a subtlety and complexity for this incom incomprehensibility the words are very new subtle सटल रीते सूक्ष्म एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी दे जटिल सूक्ष्म रीते जटिलता थी गुंथेलू एंड इनकॉम्प्रिहेंसिबिलिटी कॉम्प्रिहेंशन यू स्टडी दैट एज ए लेटर राइटिंग एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड द प्रिसाइज राइटिंग दे आर कॉल्ड द कॉम्प्रिहेंशन नॉट संक्षिप्त इनकॉम्प्रिहेंस सटल एंड गुचवण एंड छता पर एम को संक्षिप्त से आते रजु करवा मायलो वर्क एंड फेनिगंस वेक 1939 is the history of human race, human race from the earliest beginning, seen in the incoherent dream of Mr. E. Ricker. It was that primitive time period of the human being. We have to become that how unsatisfied we live in the forest, and there was no we can the we have our vehicles and tools for us, just like now the develop in the we can development we our under development period of the human life that was. In the, the character of Mr. E. R. V. Vicker, there was in the, that dream. But here we can say about that Jan Joyce's show his mastery over the language. He was the because you know about that he was a highly educated person. He can go the education of the higher education in Delhi City College and Royal University. He also got that we can say that that study the medicines. and he also taught the different languages that was his range of vocabulary his power to create the words to render the impact of sensation on the nerves are clearly manifested his we can say that his mastery of language his use of the words he can impact on the our nerves nerve system itle a badhi nerves ho hoy नर्स हो बड़ी बॉडी नर्स नर्स एनी आर वी ए नर्व सीस्टम देट इम्पेक्ट ऑन देट वी कैन सीयर वी कैन से दीज आर द वेरी फ्यू वर्क बट दे आर ही प्रोवाइडेड हिम पुट हिम एज द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टंट नॉवलिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी एंड हियर वी कैन इन द एंड वी कैन कॉट द ई आलबर्ट वन ऑफ द फेमस क्रिटिक्स E. Albert, what is E. Albert said about the James Joyce? Into inverted comma, Joyce is a serious novelist whose concern is chiefly with human relationship, man in relation to himself, to society, and to the whole human race. Very simple quotation, my dear friends. Very simple. You can. Jan Joyce is a serious novelist. He could not write out the glamorous. He can write out. He focus on. He concern. He main major. He Gumbi novelist. Then Dhyan Sana par vadare dae toh tu. He is concern is chiefly human relationship. Well, other human relationship na but friends. I'm Maria. That we have to realize. These are the. He pramani ke kya. Man with himself, we know ourselves. Not do nice thyself. I have to always say that according to Bible. So, our chat ne odo ko. Well, what he man relation with himself, feel surrounding our society. Apne aaju baaju na samaj saath hino apnu ghar society and whole generation of whole the world and our relation with the whole the world. He can act most of his work a psychological work. He can stream of consciousness. He suggest more all of his. Short story collection. Here we can say that a short story collection, the Blinner, or we can say that is the portrait of artist, a young man, Joseph, or Fitting Swift. We can find out that this his relationship man with he man man with himself, with the society, and with the whole the generation. Okay. Now we, I think you easily understand the them Joseph. We can just take a glance of it. Them Joseph. Life span, 
2nd February 1882 and he died in 13th January 1941. He belonged to the age of inter warriors, modern age, the we can say that the 20th century speciality, Irish novelist, short story writer, literary critics, poet, teacher, is famous for Pinhouse's great Dubliner, a short story collection, 19, 1914, a portrait of young men as artist, 1916, a novel, and then a, a most famous novel, a masterpiece work of Jam Joyce's Ulysses, published in 1922, used by a technique of stream of consciousness. His next word, Thinking Week, is published in 1939, and he belonged to the literary movement, and that movement is a modernism. His life, he belonged to the middle class family, he born in Dublin, and, and his career, he started as a, his father was a Roman Catholic, as a Brazilian boy, but he can get higher education in Jesuit College, Royal University, he, he went to the France, here he can get the medical, medical education, he want to be a, a singer, and later on, in 1940, he can role, play the role as a teacher, he taught the languages, his contribution measure in the field of English literature is the use of the psychological novel or subjective method or stream of consciousness methods to you. Thank you dear friends. Goodbye.